Hey guys, happy Monday. Just doing a quick rundown on the run. I'm in Los Angeles checking out a bunch of games uh, before the big trade show of E3 hits us next month. And uh, I'm going to be uh, talking to some people about some of the games and uh, uh, getting a lot of hands-on time, so I'll have lots to report on. Uh, but there's always lots of cool things going on. Yesterday, of course, was the penultimate episode of Game of Thrones. It's been very divisive, uh, but everybody was watching it. It was all over Twitter. I happen to love the show. I'm not going to spoil it, I, that episode. I'm not going to spoil anything about it. All I can say is that uh, absolute power corrupts absolutely. And uh, some pretty big lessons uh, learned about the characters that we've uh, grown to love over the years. Uh, very powerful, very exciting, and very fun. Um, I also saw something pretty cool uh, while I was surfing around the internet this morning that I thought you guys might dig. It, uh, United Airlines has partnered with uh, Spider-Man Far From Home, and they've actually thrown Spider-Man into one of their um, uh, safety videos that's going to, I guess, play on airplanes. So you've got little cameos from some of the Spider-Man movie actors. Uh, there's like a little plot line with uh, people trying to do, um, you know, uh, sort of bad things uh, that you can't do on the airplanes, and then Spider-Man swoops in and sw and uh, grabs him with uh, his web shooters and takes him out of the uh, out of their danger zone, which is pretty funny and uh, pretty clever, and obviously a very good uh, big cross promotion between two huge corporate behemoths with uh, United and Sony Pictures there. Uh, but it's uh, I think going to make the video a little bit more interesting for fans of comic books and superheroes like myself will actually pay attention to stuff like that. So I think that's a pretty good move on uh, United's part and on Sony's part. It's good cross promotion for the movie. And man, that movie is getting closer and closer. I cannot wait to see Spider-Man Far From Home. It looks very exciting. Uh, something else that I'm incredibly excited about is a brand new game from Oddworld Inhabitants. It's called Soulstorm and it reintroduces Abe from Abe's uh, Odyssey and Abe's uh, Exodus. My name is Abe. I've always loved that character, and it was a treat to be at E3 many years ago and to see that uh, that character sort of appear out of nowhere. And we talked with uh, um, Sherry McKenna and Lauren Lanning, the two founders, the co-founders of Oddworld Inhabitants, about that uh, what became a franchise, but it was a dream back then, and it certainly has uh, endured over the test. Of, uh, you know, it's lasted over the test. What am I trying to say? It's endured. Oh, it's endured over time. It's lasted the test of time. I don't know. Help me out in the comments below. Help me learn how to speak correct English in the comments below. Uh, but no, I thought, uh, you know, I've always loved that character. I've always loved that company. We uh, had a chance to visit them uh, many years ago in San Luis Obispo, and uh, it was just cool, just very cool. And Lauren and Sherry had come from the visual effects industry, and that's why their games look so unique and so fresh and so filled with character. They had worked on big, you know, Hollywood pictures and uh, lots of animated stuff, and, and that was all, you know, easily evident in uh, the work that was in the Oddworld games. So I'm very excited to see that uh, uh, Abe is back and Oddworld Inhabitants are working on something very cool. And I think I might find out a little bit about it this week. I don't know what I'm allowed to talk about. Probably nothing. I won't talk about it. But uh, uh, super stoked for that. And uh, this is going to be a hell of a week. We've got the new John Wick movie coming out, which I am unfortunately not going to be able to attend the screening with Johnny Millennium. But he's going to be reviewing it, uh, I think, on Film Fury probably on his channel as well, so look out for that. I'm going to do my best to see it as soon as possible. But, of course, next Sunday is the series finale of Game of Thrones. Incredible. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for us. I'll do another rundown on the run tomorrow. They're going to be quick. They're going to be dirty. But uh, we'll talk about some cool things. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Play forever.